today I am checking off a bucket list item and staying here at the world famous Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. And this hotel did cost me just over $1,000 for one night. So the plan is to take complete advantage of time and see everything that this place has to offer. So this iconic Marina Bay Sands building cost just over $5.5 billion to construct, but now contributes to 1% of the GDP of the entire country of Singapore. From the hotel, to all the luxury shops, and its enormous mall, to even having a casino. Hence, why the architect designed the building to look like a deck of cards. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be back in Singapore. This is my fourth time back here, and every other time that I've been, I did stay in hostels, since Singapore can be so expensive and luxury, and hostels is kind of like the only way to save money here. But this time, we are staying here at one of the coolest hotels in the world. Not only is this hotel super cool with the view and how there's this crazy looking ship on the top of it, but there's so many other things, including Check out this apple store. Looks like a giant floating apple with this bridge that takes you into the store. Just everything about Singapore is so futuristic. So once you make it through the mall with the tons of luxury shops, you make it here to the reception of the hotel. And I know you guys can't smell it through the screen, but it just smells expensive. So now the plan is to check in, check out our room, and hit the pool. I saw that it may rain later today, so we're gonna try and do this as quickly as possible, because that would be such a bummer if the one day I'm here, it pours. Mother Nature, please don't let us down. <laughs> oh my god. This is incredible. This really is one of the coolest hotels I've ever stayed at in my life. And we do only have this for one day. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour and then go explore more of the magnificent Marina Bay Sands. But check out how cool this place is. So right when you walk in, you have this incredible bathroom with a huge bathtub and then even a his and her sink. Then a private room for the toilet. And then over here for the shower. But let's be real, totally came here for the bubble bath. You have your king bed here, and then you have all this area to hang out with a couch and two chairs, and then even a desk to get some work done. You know, you are paying a premium here, but I am glad to say that at least they do have a free mini bar. So all of the drinks in here, you even have some snacks, some chips, some peanuts, and more coffee here, all for free. I mean, if you are paying 1100 USD, at least they're throwing in a free bag of chips. This is by far the most amount of money I have spent for one night in a hotel room, so you best believe I'm going to be drinking every last can of soda, every last cup of coffee, and probably even taking the shampoo and conditioner home. You, you have to find the line between stealing and, and taking what the hotel owes you. Um, for example, a hair dryer, no, no, no. But shampoos and conditioners, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And now the reason why we spent so much money to stay in this hotel is to swim in this pool. Since this is the highest infinity pool in the world, and in order to swim in here, you must be a guest of the hotel. So there's no amount of money that you can pay for a day pass or anything like that. This is exclusive for Marina Bay Sands guests only. And today, that's exactly what we are.
So we kind of got really lucky with the weather since as soon as we arrived to the pool, it started downpouring and everyone just evacuated and ducked for cover. But as soon as I saw a little bit of sun, I rushed into the pool, got all of my shots I needed and had absolutely no one else in the pool. In the most famous pool in the world. But now the sun is back out and it's starting to get filled up again. So I'm gonna get my laps in and enjoy this beautiful day in Singapore. So as we know, Singapore used to be this swamp-filled jungle, but now it is this lush green jungle as well as a concrete jungle. And it is super cool that they kept a lot of this greenery and the nature because right behind the Marina Bay Sands is this area called the Gardens by the Bay. And this is just a huge park that is totally free with all this beautiful nature, greenery, animals, and all this cool architecture. And even for how big it is as a public park, it is still so clean and pristine. What do you think so far of your first ever Southeast Asian country? It's amazing. It's a little hot, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's so clean, especially compared to New York. Right. I feel like even just how clean this jungle park is, is absolutely mad. Now, since we did spend so much money for one night stay at this hotel, the plan is to go around Singapore and find somewhere more affordable to eat. And luckily, Singapore is known for having delicious cheap eats. So for dinner, we're gonna be heading to what is known here as a Hawker Center. Something else I need to mention about here in Singapore is that it is absolutely spotless where it's even illegal to chew gum in the country of Singapore and it has to do with them just wanting spotless streets. I'd honestly rather eat off of the floor here in Singapore than off of a table back home in New York City. Spotless. So we just made it here to Telok Ayer Market, which is also known as Lao Pa Sat. I think I said that right? And this is a hawker center, which basically is like one jumbo food court. All right, I'm starving. Let's find something to eat. So for just under five US dollars, I got this massive Thai chicken with rice and an egg, as well as a $7 Tiger beer. This is the local beer here and a must try. But now, let's try out this uh, spicy chicken, egg, and rice. Mm -hmm. Definitely spicy, but delicious. You know, Singapore is known for being one of the most expensive places on the planet, but you really can find a lot of affordable options here. You don't need to stay in the Marina Bay Sands. But especially for food, you can come here to a hawker center and get a meal, a beer, even another meal for about 15 US dollars. Noelle, what'd you go with? The pineapple fried rice? Pineapple fried rice with shrimp and a watermelon juice. How is it? So good. <laughs> Another thing that's so great about Singapore is that it's so safe. Not many countries I leave my camera rolling like this, but Singapore, totally do. Now before we end the night and go back to the hotel and get to bed, right behind our hotel, right here, is a place called Gardens by the Bay. And every single night they have this miraculous light show. It really brings the roots of Singapore being the jungle and this crazy light show together and just makes for one of the best shows I've personally ever seen. It really makes you feel like you're in the movie. Ladies and oh. Boys and girls, Gardens by All right. Gardens. And it's about to begin. Whoa. The 
fact that that happens twice a night for free is amazing. You know, well, it's your first time here in Singapore and first time seeing the light show. What'd you think? It was incredible. It was so cool. I loved it. Yeah, it is 15 minutes, but I feel like it just flies by because you're just like trying to get all your shots, get your iPhone, get your photos, but it really is something so cool. I feel like this would be a good date spot. Well, that's exactly what's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> from Singapore and the highest infinity pool in the world. I woke up super early this morning to check out the gym and then came here to the pool where luckily the sun is out and there's not too many people again. I know I've seen online that this place can get absolutely packed and be a pool party, but yesterday and today just got so lucky. And I do only have a few more hours here at Marina Bay Sands, so I'm still gonna try and make the most of it, see a bit more of Singapore and unfortunately check out. So let's not waste any more time. So after the pool, I stopped by the gym and it was really nice. I had everything you need. I hopped on the treadmill for a little bit and it was really nice to be able to work out with incredible views of the city. And now I just made it back to the room, ordered some room service, which for about 22 USD, not too bad. I got the eggs Benedict and an iced latte. So I just checked out of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel and before we do conclude whether or not it was worth the money, I did want to take these last few hours here in Singapore to do something that I've wanted to do every single time that I've come here. I'll give you a little hint, it involves the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant. So I just made it here to the Chinatown complex, which I thought was just gonna be a hawker center like we went to last night for dinner. But well, this place is crazy. There's so many different things here from clothes to souvenirs to all these other Chinese ornaments. But I have yet to see where the food area is. So the journey continues. Okay, I think I found it. It's upstairs. Check this out. So there's this food stall here that's been serving food for over 30 years and in 2016 was awarded a one star Michelin star. And as you can see now, it has a huge line going to the end of this complex, but we came all the way from New York City. No way, I'm not trying this. <laughs> so as I was waiting online, I ran into someone who's seen the channel before. So, you have a YouTube channel as yeah, well? Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. Hello. It's Listo Vamos. Oh, we are yeah. from Brazil <laughs> and from Mexico. We have one, you're traveling the world. It's very nice to meet you here. So awesome to meet you. And I, I kind of grabbed them into line with me and we're gonna yeah, share a meal now. Yeah, we're the line. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, the first bite of our Michelin star meal here in Singapore. I've been waiting like four years to try this place. What they're known for is how they cook it and the sauce, and you have to get it with the chicken and the rice, so. Mm. It's great. I mean, definitely no complaints at all. Antonio actually was a chef. Was a chef. What do you think? of this Michelin star. It, it's nice, I think, for, for being in a hawker's market. It's super beautiful, it's, it's, it's tasty, uh, it's rich in flavor. I don't know, I, I should give it like a seven and a half, maybe? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, the experience is awesome. The, the food is delicious, don't get me wrong, but I guess, you know, you are at the end of the day paying under three USD for an amazing meal like this. So you gotta check this out if you are here in Singapore. And maybe you'll meet some new friends too. All right, that's the most fantastic things ever. <laughs> <laughs> so after spending a night at Marina Bay Sands for just over $1,000, is it worth it? 
I would say it depends. I personally wouldn't spend the money to stay multiple nights since I did stay at another hotel for a quarter of the price that was still great. But to experience this hotel at least once in my life and swim in that pool was an experience of a lifetime. So to this community filled with go-getters, I do highly recommend to add this to your bucket list as well. Until next week, let's get out and get busy in the next one.